Well, hello and welcome to the 2022 Saudi Arabian, Arabian, something like that, Saudi Arabian 2022 F1 Grand Prix recap. This is my first one of these. I'm very excited. I uh, <clears throat> am just a F1 fan who is going to talk his way through what he thought about the race. Firstly, how good is F1 in 2022? We've had, in my opinion, uh, <clears throat> Eight years of some pretty average racing, to say the least. We had Mercedes, and credit to them, get on that hybrid era and just dominate it from the outset. And everybody was playing catch up for the last eight years. Uh, and now we've moved into a new era, which has got amazing competitive racing. And we're being spoiled, to say the least. So, what happened in the race? Obviously, hearts got to go out to Mr. Sergio Perez. Uh, I think without that King Latifi going into the wall, he would have been a real contender for a race win today. So I'm sure he'll be right up there and fighting for more race wins for the rest of the season. But how about that Max and Lewis bat battles, rivalry? So I'm just trying to get the words out. I think, A, it was great to see. You hardly ever see that, you know, people coming back at you after getting passed. So that was amazing that the new cars and the new regulations have made that a reality. But one thing we need to look at is where on earth they are putting these DRS activation lines. Because to see both Max and Charles locking up in brakes to prevent them from being the first ones to cross the, that line is just pretty crazy. I get what they're trying to do with the detection zones, but I think there needs to be some reworking done there. But it was an amazing race to watch. Obviously, Max taking out the dub, Charles in second, and let's all be very clear, Ferrari's number two driver, Carlos Sainz, coming home in third place. Then obviously Perez came in, Russell, Russell, amazing, fifth place. His teammate Lewis, a lucky tenth, if you ask me. I'm really looking forward to what happens. I was hoping George would have a chance to be fighting for the title this year. Uh, not looking that way at the moment, but I guess time will tell. But, you know, he outpaced Lewis all day today. Lewis said he got everything he could out of the car today, but he doesn't think, think the team got everything they could have got out of themselves. So, you know, throwing them under the bus. Good team sportsman. Lewis, as always, can you tell I'm a Ferrari fan? So, look, I think it was um, hard luck for Perez. I think Alpha did a fantastic job. I think uh, Latifi is making a bit of a running joke of himself in terms of his crashes uh, influencing race decisions. But all in all, it was an amazing race. I'm really looking forward to Australia in two weeks' time. I am not Australian. If you were wondering, I'm from New Zealand. It is only a three-hour flight across to Melbourne. But I think I'll have to wait until next year to head across to that. But I think everybody's looking forward to an amazing season. We're only two races in and we've been spoiled with some really tough head-to-head -to -head racing. And not even from the leaders. We've seen some like amazing fights in the midfield. How good was it to see the Alpines being allowed to race each other? And, you know... I love how the commentators are able to get the team managers, team directors, whatever they're called, on the line and they, you know, say straight up, yeah, we're letting them fight it out, we're letting them battle. Obviously, at, at, at some point, they did come in and tell Ocon just to maintain position, but we're being spoiled. I think we'll have to take our hats off to the people who made all the new regulations a thing. I think it's a, an exciting new era for F1. As a Ferrari fan, it's been depressing the last few years, to say the least. But it looks like they're back, got their got their stuff organised, and it's going to be a Ferrari Red Bull battle at least for the first half of the season. And then, hey, maybe Mercedes and who knows who else might be able to join them up there. But looking forward to it. That's my very first race recap. It will get a lot better. I will be talking a lot better. I will have a lot more structure and I may even have some nice little graphics on the screen in future. But for now, that's what you're going to have to put up with. 2022 Saudi Arabian GP. Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz taking out the podium. I think uh, those three will be on the podium a lot more this upcoming season. So that's me, Todd Shirley. Signing out till Melbourne 
F1 in two weeks' time.